In this video, we're talking about simple equation solving and how to solve equations when there are parentheses inside of the equations. So in this first example, we have 12 minus the quantity 2x plus 5, where we have 2x plus 5 inside parentheses, is equal to negative 2 plus the quantity x minus 3, where we have x minus 3 inside parentheses. So sometimes people think that the equation is somehow changed when we have parentheses involved, but really it's no different. It's just about order of operations and the distributive property. So what we want to do is work on removing the parentheses before we do anything else. The way we're going to do that is by identifying that we're really just dealing with the distributive property here. So this is going to be 12 minus the quantity 2x plus 5, but we have this implied 1 in front of our parentheses here. So really this is negative 1 times the quantity 2x plus 5. So we can distribute that negative 1 across the 2x plus 5, and what we'll get is 12 negative 1 times 2x is a negative 2x, so we get minus 2x. And negative 1 times positive 5 is negative 5, so we get minus 5. Same thing over here, we have this implied 1 in front of our parentheses, so we want to distribute that across the x and the negative 3, so we get equals negative 2. 1 times x is still x, so we get plus x. And then a positive 1 times a negative 3 is a negative 3, so we end up with minus 3. In other words, when you have a plus sign here, whatever's inside your parentheses stays the same because multiplying by positive 1 isn't going to change this value at all. So we started with positive x minus 3, we ended up with positive x minus 3. But when you have a negative sign, like we did here, it's going to change the sign on everything inside the parentheses. So instead of positive 2x and positive 5, we ended up with negative 2x and negative 5. So now that we've removed our parentheses, we just need to go ahead and simplify both sides of our equation. So first we'll combine like terms. We have whole numbers here that are like terms on the left-hand side, 12 and negative 5. So 12 minus 5 gives us a 7, and we'll leave the 2x. And then on the right, we have like terms of negative 2 and negative 3. They're both whole numbers. Negative 2 minus 3 is going to give us a negative 5, so negative 5 plus x. Now we'll go ahead and add 5 to both sides because that'll cancel the negative 5 on the right, we'll get negative 5 plus 5 will give us 0. Over here on the left, 7 plus 5 gives us 12, so 12 minus 2x is equal to x. Now we want to go ahead and add 2x to both sides because that'll cancel the negative 2x on the left, so negative 2x and a positive 2x cancel, and we're left with 12 is equal to x plus 2x is 3x. Then we just divide both sides by 3, That'll cancel the 3 in the numerator and denominator, leaving us with just x on the right. 12 divided by 3 is 4, so we get x is equal to 4 for our final answer. Now if we look at a second example here, we have negative quantity 4y minus 17 plus negative y is equal to quantity 2y minus 1 minus a negative y. So again, we want to deal with our parentheses first here. We have an implied negative 1 in front of this 4y minus 17. We have an implied 1 in front of this negative y, an implied 1 in front of this 2y minus 1, and an implied 1 in front of this negative y. So now we just want to distribute these negative or positive 1's across whatever we have inside the parentheses. So here we have negative 1 times 4y minus 17. Well, negative 1 times 4y is a negative 4y. Negative 1 times negative 17, our negative signs cancel, and we get positive 17. In other words, we had a negative sign, which means that both of the signs of these terms inside the parentheses are going to change. So instead of positive 4y, we got negative 4y, and instead of negative 17, we got positive 17. Here we have positive 1 times a negative y is just going to give us a negative y. Remember, because it was a plus sign, the sign inside the parentheses here didn't change. We started with negative y, we ended with negative y. Here on the right hand side, 1 times 2y gives us 2y, 1 times negative 1 gives us negative 1, negative 1 times a negative y gives us a positive y. And now that we've eliminated our parentheses, we just simplify. So combining like terms on the left, we have a negative 4y and a negative y gives us a negative 5y plus 17 equals 2y plus 1y is 3y minus 1. Now we'll go ahead and add 5y to both sides, that'll cancel the negative 5y on the left, leaving us with just 17 equals 8y minus 1. Then we'll add 1 to both sides to cancel the 1 on the right, negative 1, positive 1, cancel with one another, and then we're left with 18 is equal to 8y, dividing both sides by 8 
cancels the 8 from the numerator and the denominator on the right, leaving us with y is equal to 18 over 8, which is the same as 9 over 4 when we divide both the numerator and the denominator by 2.